Crazy Red Emu here with a quick review for the Amber Collection Velociraptor. I'm mostly doing this because none of the people I follow on YouTube reviewed these guys, and I thought they were awesome. So here we are. Uh, this line or this toy, you get one, goes for about thirty dollars, and I got mine from GameStop. I'd order it online though. Uh, it's a very movie accurate and very highly articulated figure of the uh, Jurassic Park Raptor. First thing to note, let's just start at the head. Yeah, that'd be the first thing. They can open this far. Got pretty good detail in there. And the best part is they can close their mouth all the way. One bad part is one of the, they got little bumps on top of their head, and on both of them, that bump right there is too tall. So when I open the mouth all the way, it chipped it off. I think I'll hit it with a little bit of brown paint or a brown permanent marker and cover that little white bit up. Other than that, pretty good. No finger articulation, but I don't think you really need it. You got swivels, as Jabby the Hung would say, and whatever you call that. Outward motion, more swivels. Now, as far as legs, the calf has less articulation. It can go all the way around, but it's only going out about that far, which is a shame. The most impressive bit of articulation, however, is at the foot. And while it does have, you know, uh, a hinge and a swivel. It also has toe articulation for the big claws. So they can do that tap thing they do in the kitchen. Alrighty, now the tail. Now I thought the tail was a solid piece of plastic, sort of like on the Indoraptor. But it is soft rubber and has a bendy wire. So also be sure to be careful and not break your tail while playing with it. So you can get all sorts of cool serpentine movements out of it. Also, there's bleed over on the eye a little. It's not a lot, but it is there. So that, the white, the or the bump that got chipped off, and there's some molding that's annoying. Or molding flex or whatever you want to call that. Ooh, look at that bottom jaw detail, though. I hadn't seen that. <sighs> Anywho. I think I went over everything. Oh, yeah, it comes with a stand. And a little arm. Your little arm plugs into the dimensionables. Maybe I should have got a camera with a stand instead of trying to do this with my phone. But no, I wanted to do it in a hurry. It's easy if you're, you know, not being an idiot. Boom! There! On a stand! And it can support the weight. I would have rather not had the stand, honestly, because it's such a short arm. This looks like piss. That's not for me. That's from someone that follows my Tumblr or Discord, rather. And yeah, just useless. 
Oh, the box. The box is kind of neat. I don't save boxes. I had to dig this out of the trash. Just, uh, text, picture, garbage. Anywho, back to the Raptor. Highly posable. I can get in really cool stands, stamp, stances, dramatic poses, what you want to call it. Obviously not with one hand. Oh, hey, cool. I bought three. I bought two single packs, and there's a, I think, San Diego Comic-Con one that comes with the Raptor and Ian Malcolm. And I ordered, I pre-ordered that one. It hasn't shipped yet. But I had to have three, you know, because there's three Raptors in the movie. Kind of wish there was one that was slightly bigger. Because remember in the movie they made a comment about the big one killed the other, all but two of them. Well, regardless. That's all. Crazy Emu, signing off.